And we're actually going to change up our Pikmin squad. Back to Wistful Wild. I'm not bringing 20 of every Pikmin to the Dream Den. I, I got a plans. Alright. So we got all 100. I'm only going to take 10 whites. Because I don't think there are that many poison uh, filters there. Instead, I'm taking 30 yellows. I'm just going to say this. Yellow Pikmin are going to be important for this upcoming dungeon. Uh, what's the qu closest way to the Dream Den? Okay, it's down this way. We have one more cave left. We got the Dream Den. It's the last, and some would argue the worst. I think it's... It's kind of a tie whether it's worse than the Hole of Heroes. It's not quite as long. It has some very, very nasty floors, but I think Hole of Heroes on the whole is a little nastier, just because Hole of Heroes, you have to face all those bosses in a very, uh unfun environment. Really? I thought I killed you. You want to die again? Then I shall grant your request. Alright, final cave, Dream Den, 21 treasures. Let's go. Nor I was, I was debating bringing actually 40 yellow Pikmin and then lowering my red count, but I think I'm going to need reds and blues for this cave. I definitely will need blues. Alright, Dream Den sub-level 1. You know, unless the Dream Den is nastier than I remember, I might have changed my mind. Submerged Castle might be the toughest dungeon in the game, just because of that time pressure that you're on. <laughs> Only bring in 12, 10 whites immediately you're faced with poison. How many times will already have to reset in the Dream Den? Ten times. That's my guess. I hopefully won't have to reset for the final boss. Because once you know how to do him, the final boss really isn't that difficult. It's just time-consuming. Watch me do this no resets now. Alright, you're up in it to 15 times. That's also a reasonable guess. Okay, I don't like that. I'm glad that every time you leave a cave, your captains get refilled on HP. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Big brain strats. You guys ready? There you go. Distract the Hermit Cromad. And then take out the poison filter. Choo -choo. Hey, hey, buddy. This way. Oh, ha, ha, you're so close, but you still, you're so stupid. All right, that's a lot of uh, bullboard pups. I love purple Pikmin. I ser I cannot believe I used to think purple Pikmin were the worst Pikmin type. I'm like, what? They're not immune to any, like, environmental hazards? They're so bad. They're so slow. I'm like, um, you do realize that they just destroy everything, right? <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, I did not. I'm also, I was also a lot worse at Pikmin 2 back then. Yeah, Submerged Castle is definitely the toughest dungeon that I've done this far. The one that caused by far the most resets. Um, <laughs> um, that's... Oh, okay. Look, just bring them back. Okay, I just need my purple pigment back. My purple pigment are literally, like, too slow to move over the ramp. 
Oh, there's more than one of these stupid jelly floats. <laughs> Get out of here! Oh yeah, I, I'm, I'm so much better. You think I could do a no deaths run of Pikmin 2 back when I was like 10 years old when I first played the game? Heck no! Yeah, it's just laughable. Come on, just beat him up. Come on, this guy's a pushover. Stop carrying corpses back and kill the jelly float. Is there seriously no treasure over here? There's got to be buried tr Oh, wait, this is the key we have. What am I talking about? I'm like, there must be buried treasure! I don't see any! <laughs> Welcome, Games Idea Maker! Heh <laughs> heh. You used to do the nose after since you were 13. Well, Dane, well, you are, you are better at this game than I am. <laughs> that is definitely not something I could have done at 13. Welcome to the stream! We are on the final dungeon! <laughs> Which way to go, George? I just don't know. Mmm, Kiwi have 40 Pocos. The disguised delicacy. It's true, Kiwis look disgusting on the outside. And to be honest, you might think they look disgusting on the inside, but mmm, they're just, I should get Kiwis again. It's been a while since I've eaten a Kiwi. And they're so good. It can be any George, honestly. <laughs> Meet George Judson <laughs> in the Dream Den. Oh, hey, it's like we're back in Glutton's Kitchen again. Glutton's Kitchen is still my favorite dungeon. Although, I also do like the uh, Frontier Cavern. You've never been fond of... Well, I mean, Kiwis are definitely a poor, pretty polarizing. Oh, guys, look, it's more cows! Oh, are you having cake? Ah! Okay, I didn't expect there to be a Gatling Groink right there. <laughs> they lure me in with the cows, and then the Groink attacks. All right. Well, this is not going to be a resetless dream den. Not that I don't think anybody thought that. Surprise mortar shells. Yep, alright. That's right. This is the sub-level that has an our, our Gatling Groink on the tower. Okay. I'm gonna see if the... Pro Can I... Attention, Peter Fox. Thank you. Gather all the other Pikmin to a safe area. We're gonna see if our purple Pikmin, our elite squad, will be able to take down the Gatling Groink. Simply stupendous job. We might need yellow Pikmin instead. Okay. Hmm. Always expect a Gatling Groink. Why does the floor exist? I, I don't know. They, they want to throw everything they got at you. <laughs> we'll see fewer bosses, but honestly, at this point, I've, I'm starting to remember that bosses are not necessarily harder than common enemies. Gatling Groinks are nasty. <laughs> Okay, new plan. I'm gonna take my elite squad of yellow Pikmin. They're less powerful, but they can be thrown higher. Although, that's a lot of leaf pit. How many leaf? Let's see if I can leave the leafs behind. Okay, we still got 24 that aren't that are flower. Okay, cool, cool, cool.
I hate all of the snowboard orbs that are nearby, though. And again, like, honestly, the thing that irks me the most about the Gatling Groink is the fact that they don't always kill you. They're not consistent. Like, sometimes they just knock you to the ground, and sometimes they murder your face. And this inconsistency drives me up the wall. Because it's like, sometimes you just are spared, sometimes they decide to kill you. Okay, rats, I can't throw them from down here, I do have to climb up. Dude, if that if that stupid Pikmin had died, I would have been ticked. Alright. Yeah, I mean, fish are kind of gross in general. Will you stop being stupid? What do they want from me? I... I was literally micromanaging that Pikmin, saying, get the heck out of the corner, and he would not move. I was even using the... I had him under my control. I was even using the C-stick to move around. He would not freaking move. I was trying to get that stupid yellow Pikmin out of the corner when he was right next to the cow who was trying to eat him. That's what I was trying to do. I put a cap on the amount of uh, times you can make me do a weird... Oh, so that's how we gonna do it this time, huh? You are not invited. But you don't die. I, I tried doing that, but if you do that, the Gatling Groink is just going to blast you off the planet. I think, okay, I think the strategy is just use the captains to kill the little guys. Not bringing the Pikmin around. And I'm going to see... The thing is, I'm not sure if the Bitter Spray works if he's that high up. Because normally I'd be like, okay, I'll just, I'll just Bitter Spray. I've got like 20 of them. But I don't think Bitter Spray works if they're that high off the ground. Not stun locking me in place. This guy's pack a wallop. Here we go. Oh! Pfft. Almost walked right into that guy. That would have been bad, because my Pikmin would have been right there. Okay.
Oh, bitter sprays do work from the... Okay, cool. Nope. What the... Did they put butter on these blocks or something? There we go. I'm not doing of that nonsense anymore. Hold up. I don't trust you to bring that in a way that won't wake up the stupid white uh, hairy bulborbs. So. I haven't seen this much butter since uh, I played Yoshi's Island. And Yoshi put butter on the bottom of his shoes. Thus far, Dream Den is shaping up to be the toughest dungeon. Now we bring the gyro block, block back, not the gyro block, something else back, and then the two-ended pencil. Top level, sub level two is definitely up there. Oh, it's a pencil sharpener, the manual honer. Pencil sharpener and a sh and a sharpened pencil. Oh, you have to you have to manually change captains like just before your captain starts drinking. Nintendo 64 pencil, the implement of toil. That's actually an apt name. I don't know what you're asking. Like, those aren't mutually exclude. Those are the same thing. Those are synonymous. Game has been saved. Dream Den, sub-level 3. Oh, no. I This is my least favorite kind of dungeon, is the mechanical one, because there are bottomless pits everywhere. <laughs> okay, electric. Fence. Oh, boy. And it's big, too. No! Don't think so! Okay, that Karenian Dirigibug has something, which is wonderful, and that's also where the exit is. I actually don't want bombs. I thought for sure there was going to be a cannon larva there. Is there no treasure on this side? Doesn't seem like it. Cool. So we can just focus on this side. I can get behind that. Pretty basic floor, yeah. I I fully expected there to be a ar uh, an armored cannon larva. Well, that kind of worked. That actually worked out very well. Um. Why did those not fall when the, um... Why did those not fall when I walked through with Olimar? Is it like, oh, you they only fall if your Pikmin start doing something? That would be really dumb. Just a lot of bombs. Oh my gosh, the Karenian Dirigibug just murdered that guy in cold blood. This might be a little on the annoying side. We got the little guys who are trying to eat us, we got the Dirigibug, and we got electric fences. And of course we got but just, you know, bombs falling from the ceiling. I saw that red Pikmin. How about you kill him? You doofus, you almost got yourself blown up. Oh, what the heck?! Get away, get away, get away, get away! This is taking ambush spawns to a new level, folks. 
Again, I walked through there with Olimar. Why did he not pop down? Well, Dane, if you guys can carry that back, and if that's the only treasure, that's great. Oh, hey, it's, it's, it's the GameCube control stick. Oh, that's funny. That might be the only treasure on the floor, and that would be great if it is. We get the Glee Spinner! <laughs> there are traps that only activate when Pikmin are around. Okay, then I got a new plan. Ooh, analog stick. It's so pretty! The Glee Spinner! Oh, thank goodness that's the only... Okay, cool. I am outie! I'm not staying on these sub-levels any longer than I have to be. <laughs> <laughs> nice touch. <laughs> I get it. Dream Den sub level 4. Oh, this looks familiar. This is like that one level from the subterranean complex. Yuck. Okay. So I got a new plan. If there are traps that only trigger when there are Pikmin around, I'm going to take one Pikmin with me. Probably should be a white Pikmin. Because of the poison. Okay, I can have this guy help me take out the anode beetles. Now, uh, Chili, never mind, I can't. Okay, so I have to do the whole floor then. Um, hmm. I don't like that, Sam. I am. I literally feel like this dungeon was just like somebody got hold of the Pikmin 2 cave editor and is just like, SPAM ALL OF THESE ENEMIES EVERYWHERE. It looks like there's only one treasure. And it's the silver coin. The problem is the silver coin is guarded by, like, a hundred of these armored cannon larvae. And anode beetles, so... Hmm. We got our work cut out for us! Alright. No. Bad Pikmin. Here, destroy the poison filter for me. Appreciate it. Alright. There we go, that's what I was waiting for. I don't like them being right next to the edge like that. That's very disconcerting. Because that means then it's easy for them to fall off a cliff. I also don't like things getting in the way of the camera. Alright, our prize is this way. I don't like the predicament that we're in, though, because he keeps shooting these boulders down the hill. It was a worthy sacrifice of a bitter spray for there. Hmm? He freaking threw one off a cliff. Are you kidding me? I See, I hate the metallic stages. There are way too many bottomless pits. And if you have enemies that just throw you around, like... Also, that guy threw my Pikmin off a cliff when he had zero HP. That shouldn't be allowed. I don't know why the bugs are immune to rocket. Maybe it's because they can only take damage if they're on their uh, back. I didn't throw one off the pit! That stupid guy f uh, launched them off his back and one of them fell off the pit that way. Alright, the treasure is still down there. It's weird there's not a poison filter this time. Pfft, 
<laughs> All right. Well, that was my fault. <laughs> hey, Fly. Welcome, welcome. Did I beat all the Hercules Cups in Kingdom Hearts? Because you're stuck on them. Um, I believe so. Yeah. I beat I beat all the cups on the level one run. Again, if you do it before you beat Ansem Riku, they're actually not too hard. I, c I call a mulligan on that one. This is okay. Yeah, uh, this this is definitely the. You know how I said Hole of Heroes was the hard. No, no, no. Dream Dead is a lot harder. Dream Dead's much harder. Oh yeah. Wait, Leon's not in the Hercules Cup. Are you talking about Cloud? Cloud definitely uh, has a lot of HP. <laughs> oh wait. Uh. That is not how I said to do it. Come on, Pikmin! I was I was using... The, can you not use the C-Stick if you're carrying a Pikmin in your hand? Because I was using the C-Stick and they just wouldn't move. I guess I just... Dream Den is definitely annoying. I guess I didn't think about Dream Den... No deaths particularly, because I guess I, I've done Dream Den before, and there was like one or two sub-levels that I struggled on, but maybe it's just having to go through it no deaths is what's killing me. Oh, this is different. I hate I hate this. Okay. You guys want to make an electric fence? You sure do. Great. Oh, you're doing... No! Okay, the Pegasus Cup was annoying. I hate this. <laughs> okay, yeah, Leon and Yuffie are in the Pegasus Cup. Yeah, they are annoying. I strongly recommend getting Aroga for that, as that'll reflect all of Yuffie's, like, ninja stars back at her. Kill her first, and then take on Leon. I think we may have lost a couple of Pikmin. Now that's a lot of damage. <laughs> okay. Dream... <laughs> Take eight. Stop giving me the anode beetles. Just kill him. This is like the, the octuple whammy. We got anoint. Excuse me. That's rude. Uh oh. No, no, no. Turn away. Turn away. You get. There's nothing to see here. Yeah, that's a good boy. Kablam! This would be. This would be a bit easier if these were the decorated cannon larvae, not the armored cannon larvae. Thank goodness that first one stunned him. A stupid purple pigment again moved out of the way when I was trying to summon them. Okay. I think for this one... Did he launch that down over the wall down the hill? Okay, I want him to face away from me so I can... Okay, that's as good as it's going to get, I think. Goon! Don't know how everybody survived that, but alright! My freaking purple Pikmin are refusing to get in a group so I can toss them in rapid succession. They always move to the back. Ah. Oh, no, okay. No, 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 this is fine. This is fine. He can launch the boulder... To destroy the poison filter. There we go. Is the coin down? Th oh, thank. Okay. We almost home, boys. Wait for you guys to finish your little dance.
Alright. Alright, just carry the coin back to the base. Don't take a stupidly long convoluted way back. I'll leave the president and the other Pikmin there. I'm escorting them back with Omar because I do not trust them to not do a really stupid thing. The anode beetles are slow. The prob okay, anode beetles by themselves are easy. The problem is when you have anode beetles right next to a tough enemy like the armored cannon larva. Because then, while you're trying to take on the tough enemy, they can zap you while you're not paying attention. Oh yeah, well, I mean, Home on the Range was uh, not one of Disney's best, to say the least. I really hope that's the only treasure on the floor, because if there's another treasure that's, like, buried underground somewhere, like, ugh, it's gonna be so bad. I'm, I'm probably gonna take both cabins and just spank all the beetles to death. Ooh, three hundred dollars! The mirrored element. That ain't Sacagawea. Oh, thank goodness. That's the only treasure. Yay! What's better, Home on the Range or Chicken Little? Uh... As far as which one is better... I might argue Home on the Range, but I like Chicken Little more. <laughs> it's, it's, if you're asking for preference versus objective quality, that, there's a difference there. No, not more rusted metal. Not more bottomless pits. Oh, great. Whip okay, take out the whipper. Oh, no! I hate this floor already. Fiery bolt. Look at all that fire! Where did my what? Where is the missing Pikmin? What are you doing? How the heck did you get over there? Oh, Buck Cluck is, is the worst. He's the worst Disney father who's not an outright evil villain. I agree. Because, I mean, obviously the worst Disney father is Frollo. Or Froyo. Die. Look at them. Like, those Pikmin were literally like, ooh, fire, pretty. Okay, let's... let's not... <laughs> Excuse me. Just put out the fire! Come on! You're not on fire, it's an illusion. You're not on fire, it's an illusion. <laughs> it's just like in real life. Oh, yeah, sure, hang out near the bottomless pit. I don't mind that at all. I don't need to destroy that. Uh, no, no, no. They weren't on fire. I just had to remind them that they weren't on fire. And then it stopped. Oh, is there not even any treasure on this side? Oh, what a jip. I, I know for a fact there's a treasure in that fiery bulwax. Because of course there is! Nobody would ever fight fiery bulwaxes if there weren't actually treasure involved. And this is why I brought 20 red Pikmin. I debated leaving ten, only bringing 10 to bring more yellows, but... No, you don't get to burn my Pikmin. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 you're not on fire, it's only an illusion. Ah, no, don't wake up the fiery bulb wax! How have you guys not destroyed the geysers and... Oh, there's another geyser, that's why. Just destroy all the geysers, and get the guys out of here. <laughs> you're on fire, it's not that big of a deal, okay? Just man up. 
All right. Oh, oh, look, what's that? Oh, look at that! The treasure gauge is over. Yes, he. What? Why are the fiery bullwaxes eating all this treasure? They're like, oh man, I just love jewels. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you ate a cupcake, I would understand it. <laughs> Mr. Incredible is an amazing Disney dad. Yes. I, I agree. Marwin's pretty good too. He's just overprotective. Yeah. Oh, Mufasa's great. Oh. Sorry, I haven't been able to pay attention to Twitch chat because uh, all my. I don't know how, but all my guys caught on fire. <laughs> I don't know why, though. This room is just filled with fire. They're like, we need, we, need a, we need a gimmick for this floor. I know, fire. Alright. We burp him, we kill him. In that order. Okay, he ate an apple. That's understand. Wow, that's a, that's a giant apple. What the heck? That thing's huge. Look at that. That's bigger than he is. <laughs> no, no, no. That's fine. Twitch chat can absolutely chat while I'm playing the game. It's just like I won't be able to participate in the conversation if insanity is happening. <laughs> okay, bring the bring the apple. Bring it to me. We can sell it for a fortune. Mm-mm-mm, apple. 40 pocos. Insect condo. Ugh. Oh, I did not want to know that. <laughs> Apples are my favorite fruit, so that's... Having the apple called that, it makes me annoyed. Oh, dude, ima imagine if I went all this way and, like, killed the bull what bull and got to the end only to die just from a random fire geyser because my guys were drinking nectar. Doop -doop 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 -doop. Yeah, way to way to make it unappetizing. <laughs> 